Hi, my name is Neil Garbro from Routley and Lemon Electrical Contractors, and we're going to be doing a tool talk review on the Easy9 Compact Consumer Unit from Schneider. So let's take a first look at the consumer unit itself. First of all, you notice quite a stylish front compared to some of the other consumer units on the market. A nice rounded uh, front flap. So one of the first things you'll notice inside, you've got, um, you know, it, I don't know where they get the compact from, but you know, it looks like a standard size consumer unit, I suppose, to the rest of the range in Schneider, it is fairly compact. Um, you've got some 32 mil knockouts, 25 mil knockouts, and one single 20 mil knockout. Um, on one of the sides you've got two 32 mils for your tails I suppose and exactly the same on the other side and on the top of the uh, the board itself again two 32s, 125 and 120 but obviously you know there's quite a limitation there but they seem to be quite firm in there so you could drill out more holes if you needed to and substantial knockouts on the back of the consumer unit for your cable ways. Um, the standard U-links between the main bus bars. And you've got the main switch, it can obviously go either side of the dim rail, which gives you a few more options. But it's all very glossy and shiny and quite, you know, Quite well made, as you expect from Schneider products. So let's um, enough of the chat. Let's get fitting. So a bit of a disclaimer: this is not a how-to video by any means. This is how I change a consumer unit over. Obviously, each trade or electricians as such have got their own means and ways of doing things. Um, so yeah, I keep saying let's get started. Let's get started. So as you can see, we've got the, uh, the the back of the board up now. Um, some reason what I don't understand why suppliers don't supply you with edging to go around the um, the knockouts at the back of the board. Um, obviously, you get that from your suppliers. Um, yeah, seems to be going so far. Um, let's move on. So here we have it, the uh, finished board. Um, there's a couple of things that I would sort of comment about. It's the sort of lack of uh, headroom above the breakers. 
makes it sort of difficult to make the uh, the board itself look tidier. Obviously, they're older cables, and uh, if it was a new installation, you'll probably get it a bit tidier. Um, the length of the neutral cables on the breakers, they're horrendously long. There's no way I've tried to sort of divert it around the board and make it look tidy, but you know, there's any reason why they have to be that long. It says pretty much in the breakers that you're not supposed to cut them down, so you can't even cut them down to make them look tidy. Um, yeah, normally I'd come straight along there with uh, Wilex breakers straight up to the neutral connection with a few, you know, a loop there or so. Um, obviously the same again with the fly lead on the earth. There's no, um, Wilex don't use those anymore. This is not really a comparison to Wilex, by the way. It's just a, it's just a board that I install mainly. Um, there was one good aspect I did like about the board is the fact that the, the breakers themselves clip in and lock on onto the dim rail. Um, that that was a nice feature, and it sort of keeps all the breakers square normally. You know, by the time you've taken uh, tightened up the the bus bar itself, they twist and put the uh, the breakers all on a slant. Whereas these, they all seem to be locked in together. I've not got the bus bar in there at the moment. So yeah, overall, you know, it's it's a nice board to work on. Um, yeah, it just needs slightly bit more room on the the head of the uh, the breakers there, and obviously um, you can keep it a bit more tighter. And the fact that if you notice here on the neutral connections you've got quite a lot of screw fixings obviously because the u-links sort of take up away whereas you'd have them in one long strip normally but once they do away with um split load boards and people start looking forward rather than backwards then um yeah it sort of be a better way forward but overall it's quite happy with how things are progressing along I'll finish up here and um, put the towels into the uh, the Henley block, and off we go. All right, so we're back in the van. Um, the client turned back up on the job, so uh, didn't really want to carry on recording. Um, overall, the installation went pretty well. Um, there was those couple of little niggles that I would say about the amount of knockouts in the top of the board. Um, the neutral connections being mega long and the earth fly leads on the actual RCBOs themselves. Um, I noticed that the, the stickers are tiny little tags rather than full squares, which makes a bit of an untidy, tidy looking front panel. But apart from that, you know, you get Schneider quality with the board and the breakers themselves so it's pretty happy how the actual insulation went itself I'd probably use the board again obviously looking at costs and all that sort of stuff is one of the major factors when installing it and but if you're after Schneider quality and all that sort of stuff then you know it's it's a really good board to have so yeah thanks for watching don't forget if you haven't got tool talk download it and subscribe it's a great channel to watch. Cheers, thanks very much.